it was one of my grandma's favourite places, so I've been here many times. This is my Friday evening. I'm wondering if I can get away with keeping this fan on very low. It is warm in here this morning. I've turned it off. I'll survive for a few minutes. I'm just about to sort my hair out. I've woken up with a few with a few kinks. Yeah, I'm gonna sort my hair out and then I am good to go for the day. I've been thinking about the vlogs this month. I keep having days where there are moments that I think, oh that would have been really lovely. To film so i think my plan for august is to just film until i get until i get enough clips to put a vlog together and it might be even more fragmented than usual i mean i kind of like that for this vlog i'm just going to film for the next few days see what happens we also have a sponsor for today's vlog skillshare who i have worked with on numerous occasions before, lots of you have used my code before. If you don't know who Skillshare are, Skillshare are a creative online learning community with thousands, thousands of different classes. It covers a range of different topics. There is something, truly something for everyone on there. I've used them to learn completely new skills like hand embroidery, but I've also used them to relearn old skills and just refresh my memory like um, how to use my sewing machine. I also took a class with um, Jonathan Van Ness and that was all about self-care and most recently I came across a class by someone called Guy, now I don't know if I'm saying his last name right, Bogan, Guy Bogan, I'm so sorry if I've said it wrong. His name is Guy and his class is called The Ultimate Guide to Getting Started in 35mm Film. It's really helped give me an understanding on how even my just very basic camera works and different films and it's also given me a bit of confidence and I feel like I have a little bit of know-how now when it comes to maybe getting another camera where I have a bit more control and I'm really looking forward to putting everything that I've learned in his classes into action. I just love Skillshare, there's a reason why I continue to work with them. If any of you would like a free one month trial of Skillshare then I will leave my link in the description and the first 1000 of you to sign up using my link will get the one month free trial of Skillshare. I put the fan back on and I'm gonna I'm gonna cool down now finish getting ready and then we will be ready to hit the road. Today we have come to Hastings we've come to meet yeah, a group Hastings. of our friends We've come to meet a group of our friends. I've been to Hastings a million times. It was one of my grandma's favourite places, so I've been here many times. You're gonna have to put up with the blotches on the lens because I still haven't had it clean. It's not because I, I haven't thought about getting it cleaned, it's because it's going to take um, up to a week, I've been told, by the camera place, and I need my camera. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do it at, at a time when um, I'm maybe not vlogging that for the week. Okay, you're Yay. ready. Cool. wear these sandals in water and it's actually the first time I'm getting them wet and I've had them for about three years.
cute little bike. It does look like your one, doesn't it? It's really nice in this shop. These skates are making me wish that I am um, rollerbladed. We came to this shop last time. I mean, I love, I love the whole street down here. We went into this shop last time, and it's very cool in here. Thinking chocolate, strawberry, uh, chocolate heaven, vanilla, vanilla. vanilla. Is that nice? Yeah. Okay. Uh, black yeah. Black Thank you. We spent most of the afternoon on the beach. We've just um, nipped to the shops. Have a have a little wonder. Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Well, I got black currant and clotted cream. We mainly came up here to get this one. An ice cream and what else? Bucket, bucket and spade. So we didn't bring a bucket and spade because it's pebbly, but we found a patch of sand. Hey, dinner. Did you fall in? Okay. Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> I was running in and out, in and out. It's just me and Delilah on the beach at the moment. Everyone else has gone home. Doug's just gone to, so basically there's a parade on at the moment and we're not sure if we can access the road to go home. He's gone off to see if we can um, leave the car park and also find some water. Um, it is, I don't know what time it is, almost seven. We're in no rush to get home, so we're just gonna, we're just going to um, sit here and enjoy being by the sea. I love, I've said this so many times in the vlogs before, but I just love, I love being on the beach, just listening to the sound of the waves. Usually when we come here, we do a bit of everything. So we walk around, we go to museums, we go to the fair, we go um, on rides and... <laughs> She's absolutely soaked. We do crazy golf and we do, we do a bit of everything and um, it would have been nice to show you around a bit more but maybe we'll, we'll do that another time <gasps> i know you are so wet <laughs> let's go home what are you gonna wear daddy's jumper yeah oh this is really warm i'm gonna use my last bit of my film on the picture of you wearing that <laughs> we are just about to head into town and um, we haven't got a lot we need to do do have some photos i want to collect other than that we just wanted an excuse to um, pop out for a bit because we were in the house all day yesterday kind of wish i'd filmed yesterday because it's nice to film the days where we're at home really not doing anything but there's always going to be days like that to film to be honest when we get back we're just going to be reaching around at home aren't we come on then stinky <laughs> Misses. You look so cool and I love your sandals, OOTD, cutest sandals from Young Souls London. Zara from a couple of years ago but for some reason these only just fit her. And then these sunglasses I think I bought from Arquette about four years ago. They're not Arquette, they're from um, this brand. Done her really well, let's see them. Good glasses, aren't they? Go and get some lunch. Okay. <laughs> May I have done a little 
tiny bit of damage in mortar stones. And now we're off to go get some lunch. A table for two, please. Yes, yeah. thank you. Nice set isn't it? My usual smashed avocado and a poached egg. Delilah has a poached egg and sourdough. I got a parcel for me. I know, I don't know who it's from. Me too. Just got home. And there's a parcel for me. It says Miss Delilah on the front, doesn't it? Why do they call me Miss? Because you're a miss, I'm a miss, because I'm not married yet. I'm going to pop these down and then we can open that. I have no idea what it is. Okay, <laughs> good girl. Let's go wash her hands. There's a parcel for me. There's a parcel for me. What is it? Oh, I know what this is. So a friend of mine from school, and she used to do textiles and fashion like I did, and she now is making these cool jackets. Oh, at the back. <gasps> wow! It says my name! <laughs> yeah! Do you want to try it on? Yeah! I'll leave a link to her Instagram in the um in the description. I think her Instagram. Yeah, Lily and Petites. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't you look cool? Turn around. They will. I'm going to, where are my dungarees? Oh, they're over here. That's why I can't find them. I'm going to get changed. I'm going to make myself a coffee. Oh, actually I wanted to zip myself back up. This dress, by the way, is from, and other stories. I recently, I think, bought it a few weeks ago. So happy I found this. And I thought I'd mention it now because I've been getting a few questions. Last time I looked, they had every size available so I can leave a link in the description. Such a good, classic summer denim dress. But we're home now and I just want to be comfy so I'm gonna stick my dungas on. There's rainbows going all around the um, kitchen right now. Can you see them? Oh, there you go, there's a few there. Melissa bought Delilah one of these for her birthday and it has a solo panel on it and it's a rainbow maker and the solo panel when it gets the sun on it did I say solo panel? solar panel starts to turn and then you get rainbows going all around all afternoon yesterday Delilah was making these she was drawing these from Gabby's house which is a program on it's on Netflix DJ Catnip Pansy Pansy Baby Box Baby box, cat wrapped, dress up closet, dress up closet, and some ears, some mickeys. Very good. In here, oh, hello, creepy baby. In here, we have books and photos. Don't know what to do with my hair today. <laughs> it's feeling very fluffy. <laughs> I'm dying. Stop kissing my feet. <laughs> it's things like that that you think you'd never say until you have kids, and you say things like. Stop kissing my feet. I'm going to show you the books that I got earlier when we were in the um, when we were in the cafe. But there was one, only one other person upstairs where we were sat. But it was really quiet up there, and I thought it'd be taking the biscuit. Sat there, being like, "Hi guys." So these are the books that I got. That I got so I thought I'd wait until we got home. So oh, this is when I wish this chair didn't have slopey sides. I got two books. I bought I Couldn't Love You More. Hello. You are being such a pickle today. <laughs> it says it's a love letter between three generations of women. The cover attracted me and then I read the blurb and thought, yep, this sounds like something I might like. So I got that one. Of course, I won't keep saying this. I won't keep saying this. But if you're new to my channel, um, just know that I link absolutely everything I possibly can. I always have, even before affiliate links existed. I used to link lots in my videos. I will link these along with everything else. And I was intrigued by this called 10 Days by Austin Duffy. This cover makes me want to read it in the autumn, winter time. But yeah, so those are the two new books that I got. I think my next reads 
are probably going to be theatre for dreamers so we've got this one here then i really want to read a little life i feel like that's going to take me quite a while to get through I'm thinking september's one of september's reads will be my policeman i bought it ages ago and the film's coming out in october so i'd like to read the book before the film comes out so i'm thinking these three will actually be my next few reads you are on another level today missy <laughs> who are you drawing now Mer cat. Mer cat. and then maybe these two afterwards because i feel really compelled to read these what's that gorgeous i'm gonna run out of space for books i'll have to buy a new shelf <laughs> then we have photos I get my photos developed at Snappy Snaps. Snappy Snaps. Snappy Snaps. I usually always get them both printed and the digital di digital copies sent to me via email. I have already looked at these photos on my phone. They send them via WeTransfer and then you just download them. Always coming at you with the best angles. I shall show you a few of my favourites. I love this one of Doug and Delilah. That was on your birthday, wasn't it, Bubba? Yeah. I love how, compared to taking a photo on your phone, you get fun moments like this, the kind of in-between moments, the moments that feel real rather than posed. Delilah blowing out her candle. Again, on her birthday. Hang on, this is really awkward. I'll reposition. This is easier. It's got birthday, birthday, birthday. Some, some shots from the other day when we went to the beach. Oh, this is Delilah and I. Walking down this road, there's this one of Delilah and I, which I love. I don't think there's really any others to show you, or this Delilah and I making bubbles in the garden. Yeah, I'm getting quite the collection of photos. I'm going through film like nobody's business at the moment. <laughs> you have to look up my nose for a moment. Also, if, um, if any of you have any recommendations for good photo albums, let me know. I just want a photo album that's not sticky. I don't want to stick them into the photo album. I just want to be able to slot them in. You know what, I'm not too sure what else I'm going to vlog this afternoon. I think as soon as my mum gets here, probably won't be doing any vlogging. I might, just, I might be really boring and just do some cleaning and tidying. We've come to the park this morning, we've come quite early because it's going to be really hot for the rest of the week. So I thought we'd, um, I thought we'd come early, try and beat the heat, although it's, it's still very warm already. We're going to head home in a bit, but she's just in the sand making me pick coffees and cakes and making sandcastles. Full of cakes. <gasps> Thank you so much. We both have fabs. Oh yeah, two fabs. Early morning ice cream. Cheers! Ended up being a lot hotter than I anticipated this morning. So we've come home, we've had cold showers, we've washed off all the sand and sun cream that we were covered in. We're having lunch in the living room because it's nice and cool in here. A very classic lunch today of tuna roll. We've got some salad and um, some crisps. <laughs> summer holidays I've been um been having to go I haven't been able to go to any of my classes in the morning like I usually do so um I've been either going in the evenings when Doug gets back from work or like today I'm just going to do a little something in the kitchen I'm not going to do anything too strenuous I'm just going to do a bit of Pilates. I'm feeling very tired today. I barely slept last night. You can probably tell because I haven't put too much makeup on today. I popped a little bit of my usual CC cream on underneath my eyes um, but I haven't put it on the rest of my face just because I wanted to let my skin breathe because it's so hot. This mat looks huge because I have to use two mats because the, the green one isn't thick enough so I double it up. Double it up with this pink one. I don't work out often at home um, but last time I did Delilah pretty much joined in for the whole thing. <laughs> it was really sweet. I did one a little while ago and I really enjoyed it. It was this one so I'm going to do this video on YouTube. Bend your knees, exhale, shoot forward, high plank. Abs engaged, two more. 
the left leg. Set it down. So just breathing naturally here. Focusing on creating more. Let's do two more. <laughs> <laughs> A few of you have messaged me recently and said you've been really craving some fashion content. I've just had this delivered from Arquette, which I'm holding really awkwardly so you can't see my address on the other side. I thought some of you would enjoy having a try on with me. I like doing these videos. I usually pop you up there on the shelf, but then I'm always really backlit. But then there's nowhere to really put you over here that's head height. Let me get this open and I'll pop it down. Is that up? No, does that work if I put you there? This feels very OG YouTube days. For the past, well, I think since we've lived here, our cat have let me pick out bits here and there for gifting. Um, but then I've also spent my own money on there at other times as well. This stuff has been gifted, but I've picked it all out myself. First item, and I will leave links in the description um, if you're interested in it in any of these items i saw this which is basically an oversized version of the mango knitted hooded jumper that i have it has a hole in the back which i can still i, I can probably still get away with wearing it um, because i tend to wear it with coats and jackets but i love that this one is oversized and it's going to be perfect in the autumn winter especially um mainly i'll probably end up chucking it over workout wear going to and from classes. It's one of the hottest days of the year, so this feels quite wrong putting this on right now. But, so I've, oh, oh okay, definitely not one to wear with shorts. <laughs> Too oversized to wear with shorts because you can barely, barely see them. But this is definitely, definitely gonna be a good one for wearing over my leggings and oh, the hood is nice and big. Oh, I love it. I've got quite a lot of knitwear from Arquette, actually. I've got, with my own money, bought a couple of Arquette jumpers last December. And then I have another one that I live in. Yeah, they just, they're really good knitwear. This is in, I often get asked what size I get stuff in. This is the extra small, small. It says it's oversized on the website, so don't get a larger size than your usual size, wanting to make it oversized if that makes sense just get your usual size because this is <laughs> definitely made to be oversized i'm going to take this off because it is quite toasty we're gonna have to move this is not working i got myself a hat i really loved what this looked like on the website it looks huge but i have see i have struggled to find hats that fit me because i have quite a big head I have a small face but a big head. I love it when websites actually offer different sizes. And I, ooh, I got the biggest size I could. I got this in a large. This is a large and it is still snug on my head. Like it fits but it's snug. Oh, it, this looked so good on the model. Why does this not look good on me? I can't see. I need to figure out how I'm going. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a look on the website and see how the model's wearing it. But um, I thought this was a cute sun hat for in the garden. The navy blue knitted jumper that I have lived in since the start of this year. I had to get another one. I got it in a bigger size because I wanted it to be even more oversized. So I got this in a medium. This is actually a men's jumper and they have them in quite a few different sizes. My original one was small because I... And it was kind of oversized on me. Since it's been washed, it's shrunk just a tiny bit. You know, nothing more than you would expect. Um, and, oh, this looks and feels so new compared to my other one. But I wanted to get another one that was even bigger so I could, well, so I just had, so I just had an option and it is so comfy. It's not, this isn't itchy at all. I would say, not that you can really see in this mirror. Yeah, this is definitely, it's definitely much bigger. It's definitely wider than my other one. Um, and definitely, definitely longer on the arms. I just wanted another option and actually I thought if it is too big on me, then this will be great for Doug. And then I ordered, oh, I ordered, I asked for a couple of these silk hair ties 
because the only hair ties that I use, have I got one on me right now? Yeah, so I use, oh, I can, how am I going to show you? Hang on. So I use these ones from Boots and sometimes they kink my hair and I just thought, um, I, I'm, I'm someone that's constantly putting my hair up and taking it down all throughout the day. One minute I want it up, the next I want it down. And I thought a silk hair tie might kink my hair less. Um, and if they don't, they're just handy to have, aren't they? Okay, this top I am very excited about. I love the all the tank tops that they do. Um, I've got actually the one that the black vest that I was wearing yesterday um, is Arquette. Okay, right, I'm going to do a little transition. We're going to go from black vest to green vest. Ta da! <laughs> Quite long, so it's good. So I guess you, it doesn't, you know, depending on what length your maybe i'll uh should i put some jeans on so i envisioned wearing this with jeans let me grab some jeans i can't be bothered to take my shorts off so we'll go over now can i do these up because my tummy has not been very happy with me recently i'm just very uncomfortable at the moment oh cute oh, i really like this obviously without the sports bra i tend to lean towards quite neutral items in my wardrobe but here and there i do like odd pops of color but i'm very specific about the color that i wear when i ordered this i wasn't too sure how bright green it would be and it's definitely bright but it's it's like a muted bright it's a dark bright green if that's a thing i think the color goes quite nice with my hair color yeah, oh, I like this. This was like this was my risky purchase, but I really like the um, the neckline and the back looks like that. I'm really happy with this. I really like this. Such a nice top. And it's really comfortable too. It's just really soft and oh, I love it. Uh, how many? Oh, talking of vests, I have another one here. Do I try it on? I feel like I don't really. We'll try it on. We'll try it on. Quick change. Basic tank top. Um, it's just I really like the shape of it. Back comes down a little lower. Um, but yeah, this is a really good staple. My uh, my camera stopped recording then. I do love a good jean and vest combo. I just think it's a classic, classic look. I'm not going to keep it on because I, I might as well just keep wearing this one. I'll swap them in a second. Right, all time one of my favourite bras ever. I've um, bought another one, so I bought this for myself. Start of the year. It's the only bra. I've worn since. It's a really basic jersey, stretchy bra, thin straps, super comfortable. Um, the straps are adjustable. Support wise, I mm, I can't really talk because um, <laughs> I don't have much to support. I just sometimes like to have that kind of comfort of having a bra on. I often don't wear a bra, but sometimes it's quite nice to just feel hugged. <laughs> you know, do you know what I mean? But again, if you had larger boobies but you weren't fussed about really needing support but again you just wanted to feel hugged then this still might be okay for you but then again if you had if your if your boobs are quite big then these thin straps might pull i'm not sure i can't i can't obviously i don't know um how this bra would work for um for everyone it's personally my favorite they have it in quite a few colors i really want them to bring it out in a white my original one's an extra small it is a tiny like it fit it's, t it's a tiny bit snug around my ribs and um, so i did get this one in a small i'm hoping the cup still fits me yeah we'll see and then i've got a couple of options i think i'm probably going to get another one of these as well because i live in them it's a bit inconvenient living in one bra when it comes to washing and wanting to wear it and it's in the wash yeah i think i probably will get myself a couple more of these last two items added this to the order from steamery i love this brand we have a steamer from them and a debobbler from them and i thought it would be nice to pick up this lint brush. I'd been eyeing it up for a while and I'm intrigued because it's a reusable one so you don't need to you don't need to keep buying the sticky rolls to pop on. I'm sorry, I'm struggling with my words right now because I'm so <laughs> I'm so tired. Especially during the autumn winter months we go through um, lint rollers like crazy because Delilah's school uniform is completely navy. I live in leggings a lot of the time. I have a lot of fluffy jumpers and it just causes a lot of our black clothes to be fluffy. Even if this doesn't work for everything, if we can just use it for some stuff, I thought it'd be really cool to have a reusable lint roller. And so I guess it just twists around like that. 
Have I got some, see that, I've got some fluff on me now. <gasps> oh, this works really well. <laughs> and then apparently on the back, you twist it back in on itself. And um, when it's quite full of lint, you then, what do I do? So it says you press the top and then when you, no. <laughs> Oh, okay, so if there was lots of lint in here, when I press the cap and pull, and, and pull it up, it would come out with this. That's really nifty and it's really handy to travel with as well. And then the last thing, picked up these PJs for Delilah, so she hasn't got many summer pyjamas anymore. I just thought the little red, are they red or is it orange? Maybe it's orange. I just thought the stripes were really cute. So that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this um, try on, or try on haul. It's not often I get to do them. And as I'd had a few messages this week requesting something like this, I thought, I know I'm getting a delivery. Let's just, <laughs> let's do a try on haul. Then I always worry a little bit about showing like too many new things at once. And I don't know. And also with like gifted stuff, I feel like some people kind of think, no, she's definitely been paid, she's just not telling us. Or no, they've made her do a haul like this in a video, they've made her do it like this. And it's like, no, that's just not how, it's not how this kind of stuff works. Let me know if you'd like to see more in the future. I don't know when I'll put another order through with them. Would you like another, another kind of chat and try on like this? Or would you just prefer to just see bits as I use and wear them? I don't know. Let me know. Don't worry, said mum and dad. We can fix it together. The next morning, everyone thought hard. Something sweet, us. Like your new jammies. <laughs> nice jammies. <laughs> I'm just heating up some leftovers of a curry I made the other day. Dog's out tonight, so it's just me for dinner. So I think the other portion I'm going to stick in the freezer and have another time. It's the first time I've made this curry. It's a butternut and chickpea curry. It was one of the many nights where Doc and I were contemplating, oh, what do we fancy eating tonight? And he mentioned curry. I said, what curry? And he said, butternut. And I don't really have a butternut curry that I make at the top, make at the top of my head. So I just Googled one and found this one. And it's really good. I can try and find it and link it if you would like to make it yourself. Roasted, I've roasted some cauliflower. Oh, cauliflower with roasted cauliflower. It's just so good. If you've never tried it, just any oil of your choice, salt and pepper, roast it in the oven until it looks cooked. I don't know, I usually, I think I left these in for about 20, 25, 30 minutes, maybe, I'm not sure. I could eat a whole head of roasted cauliflower on its own. Um, if, I mean, I'd get severe stomach ache, but I would happily eat it all. So I think that's all heated through. I'm having that with brown rice. Oh. A little bit steamy. There we go. I'm gonna have that with brown rice. Got some poppadoms. I'm gonna stick on some mango chutney. I would usually add yogurt, um, but I had yogurt with pancakes for breakfast this morning, and I have this avocado to use up. So I'm going to put a little bit of avocado on. Oh. Pull on it on. Would usually put some sesame seeds on top, but I haven't got any. We're all out. Lots of coriander. Oh, I'm forgetting the cauliflower. So I've just stuck some courgette on the side as well. Might pop the rest of this in the fridge. We'll see how we go with that. Mango chutney, mainly for the pop doms, but it's quite nice with curry anyway. There we have it, that's dinner for tonight. Not that you can't, you can barely even see the curry now. I can't wait to eat this. The more elements, the more things going on, the better for me. It's, it's funny, when Doug eats, he'll eat all the elements pretty much separately, saving his favourite bit till last. Whereas I'll I'll get a bit of everything on my fork because I just like having all the flavours and textures in every bite. And I've just remembered, I bought a pack of Mars bar ice creams earlier, so I'm gonna have one of those after I've had dinner. And this is me, this is my Friday, this is my Friday evening. I'm, I'm pretty happy right now. I think I'm gonna find a film to watch. We have a new TV remote and I'm, my brain just doesn't know what to do with it. Yeah, but how do I get on to... Uh, yes, done it, done it, done it. Box sets and movies. Oh, Elvis is on there. Ooh, so funny story. We were going to go, well, I mean, 
but funny I don't know if it's actually funny but um Doug and I were going to go see Elvis when we were what is going on with my hair um we were going to go see Elvis when we were in Glasgow so we you know it's a rainy day we've got a couple of hours well we'll just go see Elvis and Doug booked tickets and he booked tickets for the wrong cinema so we turned up tried to collect our tickets they the machine wouldn't give us our tickets and we realized that we'd booked at the wrong cinema Elvis is on the telly to buy a rent 15 pounds mm. but like it's, I feel like we'll probably just wait until it's free be yeah, that is one we want to watch. <gasps> Talking of films, I watched Where the Core Dads Sing. How long ago? I don't know, a couple, few, well, a few weeks ago now. We watched it, I don't know. I watched it recently, um, myself, Doug, and his mum, because um, his mum's also read Where the Core Dads Sing. We would have gone with Melissa, his sister, as well, but she had a busy weekend and just couldn't, she just had other plans. And then Doug came to watch it with us. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I know it was getting, apparently it was getting some bad reviews and honestly I don't really see what could have been, I, I couldn't see any negatives of the film. Um, I just think with stuff like that when it's really popular and people have high expectations or it's just generally popular and it's highly anticipated, people just want to find the negatives. I thought it was a great film, really enjoyed it. I feel like I'd been waiting so long for that film to come out after reading the book start of last year. I, I've lost my train of thought. Right, I'm going to find a film. I'm going to wrap the vlog up here because um, I mean, no, nothing more is going to happen this evening and I've vlogged a few days so I'm thinking, I don't know how long this video will be but hopefully, um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Filming isn't too, I mean apart from the fact that um, like obviously it's just Delilah and I day to day and I'm just, I can't like, film us playing all day long every day but apart from that, it, filming's not an issue but it's having finding the time during the holidays to edit everything so um yeah my plan is to do another couple of videos this month one more weekly and then probably another sort of two three day vlog like this one like i just said thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i'll see you in the next one Just